An innovator named Kaushik Bose has found a solution to tackle the problem of crop losses due to pests in our agricultural fields. This unique product called as Crop Defender not just protects crops from insects and fungal infections but also increases crop productivity by 30 to 50 percent. Welcome to another edition of Change Makers. Effective pest control for farmers essential. Pest attacks on crops are a major concern for farmers as they result in revenue loss due to crop damage. Although there are chemical pesticides available for preventing pest attacks, their repeated use has a long term negative impact on the environment. Biopesticides are also an option, but they are not widely popular because of their high cost and limited efficacy. Kaushik Bose and his team has devised a method to convert waste weeds into a product that can protect crops from pests, insects and fungal infections while also increasing crop productivity. Let's get to know more about this innovation from Kaushik himself. Welcome to the show Kaushik. Hello ma'am, Th thank you for having me on the show. I am looking forward to interact with you more. Uh, please introduce yourself Kaushik. Yes ma'am. So I have done uh, my B.Tech in Biotechnology, I am from Dhanbad, Jharkhand. I have done my B.Tech in Biotechnology from GIET University, it's a university in Odisha, Gunapur. And then um, I did my MBA in Innovation, Entrepreneurship and Venture Development from G Gujarat Technological University, it's in Ahmedabad. For my MBA in Innovation and Entrepreneurship, I was also awarded gold medal as I was the university topper. And along with that, uh, I have received two prestigious fellowship as well. I have been a Nidhi EIR fellow which is from the Department of Science and Technology and I have been an Indian Agritech Innovation Network fellow from Gates Foundation. So that's uh, my... It's really inspiring profile you have uh, Kaushik. Can you explain in more detail how your innovation converts waste weeds into a product that can protect crops from pests, insects and fungal infections? Yes. Uh, so, we started with a problem basically, our, our problem identification was that India loses around 50,000 crores of crops worth annually due to pest attack and in a country where 200 million people go to bed hungry every night, this data was an eye opener and in order to solve this problem, there were existing solutions such as uh, development of pest resistant crop with the help of biotechnology but that was like a distant dream to us. Then there was chemical based agriculture product but repeated uses of chemical based agriculture product was causing detrimental effect on the environment. And then there was organic or biological based agriculture product but due to their high cost and poor efficacy it was not been able to solve the problem at hand. So we identified a locally growing weed, a weed of zero economic value, a weed that grows throughout the year and is currently the most invasive weed species. Around 35 million hectares of agricultural land is covered by this weed and it is growing at an alarming rate. Our government and farmers spend a huge sum of money on eradication of this weed because we still haven't found an efficient use of this weed. Uh, the only way or use of, uh, of this weed, the only way to get rid of, uh, solve this weed waste problem is eradicate it, uh, get rid of this weeds. So we found that there is an abundant natural resources present in our environment but we are not able to utilize it. And our idea was to convert this abundant natural resources for the benefit of farmer. So what we did was we identified this weed and we extracted phytochemicals out of this weed. Phytochemicals are the chemicals which are present in plant bodies. That is what we call phytochemicals. And now using this phytochemical, we analyzed them and found that this phytochemical is having antifungal, antibacterial properties, which can be used to, uh, to protect crops from pest and fungal infection. And we also conducted a before and after study of soil before applying our product and after applying our product in terms of what is the micronutrients that has been added after application of the product, what is the change of soil pH and what is the change in soil electrical conductivity. After analyzing and doing all these things, we found that our product not just, not just will protect crops from any kind of infection, 
but will also increase crop productivity by adding considerable amount of micronutrient along with NPK, other micronutrients such as iron, copper and other micro zinc as well as it will maintain the soil pH and bring it to the uh, uh, range between 5 to 7 as well as it will bring the electrical conductivity of the soil between 0 to 3 micro siemens per centimeter. All of these factors are important to enhance crop growth as well as uh, the, uh, the ability to uh, protect crops from and uh, fungal infection and pest infection ensures that the immunity of the crops are increasing. Therefore, we, and we were able to uh, find the product and extract that can work as a crop uh, protectant and a crop stimulant. Not now, now the, in, in order to develop the product out of that extract, we, were, we mixed it with multiple different naturally available organic oils present in the market and we created a unique plant formulation, a liquid based formulation, which we, which we now spray on crops and gives the protectant activity and when mixed with the soil increases productivity. Yeah, that's uh, truly innovative Kaushik. Converting waste we weeds into a useful product is a remarkable approach. Your solution shows great potential in addressing the concerns of farmers and promoting sustainable agriculture. It's truly inspiring. And what inspired you to come up with this innovative solution for pest control in agriculture? Uh, Ma'am, honestly, uh, my, the, my inspiration uh, what did not start with the problem. Actually, it was a uh, personal thing. So I started my entrepreneurial journey when I was in my engineering only, ma'am. And I had always been a, like a, a rebel without a cause kind of guy. And uh, I'll tell you a very interesting story of uh, why I say this. Uh, so I was never a very academically strong uh, student uh, till my intermediate, till my 12th. Uh, I was, I was uh, intermediate like a 60 to 70 percent kind of guy, never excelled academically. Even when I start doing, started doing engineering, I did not uh, uh, get some uh, amazing 8-pointer or 9-pointer kind of guy. I have always been a, a 6.5 to 7 kind of guy. But I had this, always had this uh, belief kind of thing that I have, uh, I always wanted to be at a leadership position. I enjoyed positions of responsibility, position of leadership qualities. Uh, so my journey started when I actually started appearing for uh, B plan competitions and uh, and pro being from a tier three college, uh, we always as, uh, had a uh, low uh, had a confidence confidence barrier that we cannot be uh, we will not be able to compete with tier one colleges in terms of their ideas, in terms of their uh, access to resources. So. Oh, so I participated in an event called Cities that is being organized by IIT Kharagpur. It's the uh, largest technical festival of the country. And uh, there I uh, uh, applied for a B plan competition under the theme called Waste to Value. And subsequent means, uh, ironically, I was, uh, there were many compet competitors from different pre premier institutes of the country. But we were able to get a prize in that, and that started the uh, like the chain reaction oh, that this is what we this is what I want. This gives me adrenaline rush. This is what this is the uh, work that I enjoy the most. Then when I came back to my uh, university, everybody start, I I was in my third year, and that's when we start had to uh, start our minor and major projects. And now if, now uh, my challenge was that I want to do something which has not been done before. Because uh, the problem with current uh, situation is that uh, the major, minor projects or major projects of every student, they, it's a continuation of what was left uh, done before and then the continuation of some additional into uh, uh, research into that. But I, my, my role model has always been that I believe in myself, I believe in my idea. If I have an idea, I will keep believing in it and I will keep moving towards it. So... Our own university, our own department was having this weed infestation problem. I got in touch with my HOD and uh, with him, uh, I understood the problem that how big of this weed infestation problem is. And that's when we got to know that around 60% of agriculture land is being infected by this weed, infested by this weed. And as a result, farmers are not able to grow useful crop because this weed is covering their agriculture land. So that's when we, uh, I found that this is not just a local problem, it's a national problem. Along with it, it is an international problem as well. It, this weed is, has 
have invaded more than 30 countries and is found across five continents. That's the impact that's of this uh, weed infestation uh, problem. So uh, the problem was there. Now the only thing was to find a solution. And I and I did the basic thing. I did started literature review around this weed. All the researches that have been done around this weed. Most researches was done to eradicate this weed. There were very handful of research which was done to use this weed into a value-added product. And I found an article which was in Krishi Jagran. It's an it's an uh, organization that posts uh, uh, agricultural uh, stories. And I found one article in Krishi Jagran where uh, conventionally people have been using this weed as a compost. Now I that's where I got the idea that if this weed can be used as a compost means this weed is having some properties that is at, adding to the compost properties and that's when i started analyzing about this weed i started researching and i found the protocol of how to extract phytochemicals out of this weed and i did the research along with uh, i collaborated with a bangalore based lab which is now my uh, corporate address as well and there i did my research i did my analysis and uh, i was able to find a product out of it great kaushik you have identified the problem in your own universities and you found a solution instead of eradicating you found you uh, try to create develop a product instead of eradicating you developed a product and you are like supporting the vocal for local also so great uh, how does your product compare to traditional chemical pesticides in terms of effectiveness and environmental impact uh, so in terms of comparison ma'am as i told i did a, a comparative analysis with a conventional farmer uh, based out of in Thanbad, Jharkhand. He is a paddy based farmer. So in normal circumstances, when the farmer was using conventional based farming, he was able to get a productivity of 22 quintal per acre. We got in touch with this farmer and we, we did a comparative analysis of, we took two, one land and we divided that land into two batches. One batch was where we used conventional farming techniques like conventional urea or fertilizer, best conventional chemical based pesticide and in other back we use just our product and no other chemical uh, based any other conventional uh, farming techniques. What we found that, that after the complete growth cycle of paddy, the productivity of paddy in one strip was around 22 quintal of uh, per acre and from uh, and in our it was around 45 quintal. That was the increment of uh, uh, that we were able to get using our product at around 40 to 50 percent increment uh, in terms of productivity and in also in terms of micronutrients we did that our product not adds NPK nitrogen for, for uh, phosphorus potassium into soil as well as it brings down the soil pH so the soil pH that we took in Jharkhand was around 9 we were able to bring that down between 5 to 7 and also electrical conductivity of the soil was very higher in 150, 160 range. And it is very essential that the soil electrical conductivity should be in between 0 to 3 micro siemens. Uh, and because that ensures that the crop will get good water supply, that ensures the crop will be able to take water from the soil. If the electrical conductivity is very high, the crop does not, isn't able to take water from the soil. So it is essential to maintain that electrical conductivity also. So based on these analytics and based on these tests, we were able to increase farmers income by 65,000 rupees in one acre land and, and adding micronutrients, maintaining soil pH and maintaining electrical conductivity. All these are ben benefits over existing chemical based product because chemical based product doesn't do that. Uh, along with it, chemical based product also starts targeting the beneficial microorganisms of the soil. What we also did one another test in which we proved that our product only targets the pathogenic strains of the soil means the uh, microbes which are only targeting the crops uh, and it is causing harmful damage to the crops uh, but there are also there are microorganisms which are beneficial for the soil which increases crop uh, uh, growth uh, the key was that we should not harm these microbes as well so we did those analysis and we found that this is an added advantage over existing chemical based products went in the market. 
and also the cost of it is also there which i will uh, explore more in the latter conversation uh, great uh, kaushik the benefits your solution offers to farmers are significant like increasing uh, productivity uh, from 50 to 60 percent maintaining the soil uh, conductivity level and maintaining the ph level it's a great solution so, uh, right from the protecting crops and increasing yield to promoting sustainable practices your innovation has the potential to positivity impact both agricultural productivity and environmental preservation and kaushik i believe you must have conducted any studies or trials to validate the efficacy of your product if so what were the results please brief uh, as i told uh, we did uh, collaborate with an nabl accredited lab in bangalore and there we did uh, those analysis the anti fungal test we did uh, we also did cytotoxicity analysis uh all of these were essential because it's a new kind of product and this weed has not been used before we needed to prove that will it will uh, uh, application of this pro uh, product from this weed will have no side effect on uh, human beings the people who are using it as well as it will not have any side effects on uh, soil health as well as crop health so what we did we did a very simple thing uh, we did some uh, in in the lab itself we prepared some batches of a product and we tested our product on the pathogenic strains of microorganism as well as beneficial strains of the microorganism we we were able to prove that our product is working against the beneficial uh, the pathogenic strains and was not in having any effect on the beneficial strain this this was this proved that it will have no impact on the soil health of of the uh, when when we are will be applying it in the field and then we did a cytotoxicity test as well because uh, to prove that when the farmers will use it and in case it spills uh, there is spillage happening on the farmer it will have no impact on the skin as well as uh, farmers will not have any problem in if they uh, accidentally inhale uh, the uh, the smell of the product so though all those tests were done and we got accreditation from the uh, nabl lab itself along with that we actually collaborated with universities we have collaborated now with harvard agriculture university and ica our indian council of agricultural research and we are currently getting those certification which will effectively um, uh, we be the game changer because now once now once when we will go to the field when we will go to the end user we will not tell them we will just show them the certificate and they will be, uh, they will believe it because the uh, india's premier agriculture Uni institute is now uh, about to give us the certificate about our products as well along with that we also did some in house test uh, on crops as well we were able to increase we were able to stop infestation uh, pest infestation on brinjal we were able to stop mealybug mealybug infestation on multiple flowering plants as well so th these are some used case analysis that we did in our own uh, lab and we were able to prove that and we have the results for that as well yeah so the efforts made by uh, you to uh, uh, to validate your product shows your dedication to conduct the studies and trials to validate the efficacy of your product is remarkable kaushik can you share your experience uh, in participating national innovation contest and how has your involvement in uh, national innovation contest participation influenced your entrepreneurial journey i think uh, ma'am the national innovation contest in uh, uh, was a very important step in our journey because we are still very early in our journey we are still a very early stage startup and uh, platforms like this is a very important stage for our validation and for our visibility because we need to understand that in india competition is a very high um, high end game and in order to survive a competition for a startup what we need is validation networking mentoring and funding opportunities all of these four opportunities was clubbed in one platform under the national innovation contest uh, medium and this is a this is an impeccable effort from our own government which started in 2016 with the onboarding of with the uh, start of startup india as an early stage startup i have not bootstrapped my business because i have been supported by my government of india at different levels of my journey not just when i am a i have a product but when, even when i had an idea 
they uh, i was supported by my government in order by uh, they give me mentoring when i was in my ideation phase Now, when i was in my prototyping phase i received support when i was in my minimum viable phase i'm re- I, i received support and when i'm going to go into the early traction phase that's when also there are schemes to support me national innovation contest opened up opportunities for me in terms of getting multiple network because net worth equals to net worth of a startup and national innovation contest ensured that my i was able to network with relevant people from the industry in terms of mentoring uh, under this national innovation contest there is a particular uh, area where they provide net uh, mentoring to individual startup what it does what it was doing was that it was analyzing the startup needs and it was connecting me with those mentors which was essential for example in my national innovation contest i had i got a mentor from my own university in mba and they helped me analyzing the what should be the revenue model of my startup how should i establish the product market fit and what should be the different revenue streams that i can explore and i will give you a use case example of how I, we benefited out of it initially we were developing a product which was a powdered based product but talking to our mentors we realized that we need to switch from powder to liquid based product because powder when uh, when we are uh, dusting powder it requires more more manpower more labor so we needed to switch to more uh, sustainable product uh, and we we were able to switch from powder based to liquid based along with that there were we were only focusing on one revenue stream that was product sales but then we analyzed that uh, in order to generate more revenue we need to incorporate services also into our startup and this was done because of the mentoring we received and now we have incorporated biotechnology and agriculture services into our startup as well which you can find in our website as well as in our brochure and these are result of the national innovation congress of the participation of the innovation contest and of the support that we got from our government along in the form of national innovation contest great it's evident that the uh, national innovation contest by ministry of education innovation cell has had a significant impact on your entrepreneurial journey the mentoring and the networking support have played a pivotal role in shaping your path and fostering your growth as an entrepreneur uh, we are very happy to uh, learn from this one from one of the innovator like you and kaushik uh, could you discuss any challenges or limitations you encounter during the development and implementation of your innovation yes ma'am so the major challenge that we have faced as a startup is uh, the procurement of our raw material ma'am because we need to understand that it is not an organized uh, uh, fee, uh, uh, industry this raw material is available throughout the industry but it is not very organized and the, our main challenge was to ma- maintain the supply chain of this raw material and i think if the solution also came from the mentoring that we received actually uh, from the innovation contest and from different government platforms there is another platform called the marg platform which has been new, new, uh, introduced by our new our government along with startup india and we got a mentoring from them and i got an idea of how i can streamline the supply chain of this you of this weed which is available for the country but still not organized so what we started doing was we started collaborating with agriculture university and we started selling them a story every agriculture university if not every most agriculture university is having this weed infestation problem what we did with them we collaborated with them and we sold them a story that you give us the weed and we will in turn produce a, uh, the product out of it and you can showcase to your state government and the central government that you are finding ways of to uh, to utilize this weed into a value added product so the agriculture university gets validation not just from state uh, government but also from central government that's what they needed and we needed uh, products uh, the supply chain management of a raw material and we got that so it was a win win situation for us this was a first step next second step what we are doing is that we are now collect collaborating with directly with farmers from rural areas whose field has been infestation with uh, the weed and we are directly collecting it from farmers giving them an another revenue source we directly purchase this 
uh, abundant raw materials from farmers at a nominal price. So these were the two techniques uh, by, by which we were able to uh, solve this the supply chain management of our raw material, uh, which was the major issue in our journey, ma'am. Kaushik, it's uh, good to know that you converted your uh, challenges into opportunities. Like you have uh, approached the farmers and uh, collected the weeds and generated revenue for, for them also. Overcoming challenges during the development and implementation stages are testament to your perseverance and commitment. Uh, you have done your job very well in this in your entrepreneurial journey and congratulations. Kaushik, I'm sure you have received some recognition for your interesting innovation. Could you please share a few of them with us? Yes, sir. Uh, so our first recognition started with uh, the prestigious uh, Entrepreneur in Residence Fellowship, which is uh, again a uh, fellowship that has been started by our own government. Secondly, I have been awarded with uh, the Young Entrepreneur Award from Odisha Corporate Foundation, and I was awarded that from Lok Sabha MP Dr. Aparijita Sarangi. Then I was awarded with the most innovative startup of the country by Business Club of Entrepreneur and I received uh, this award from uh, notable Bollywood actor, Hindi film actor, Mr. Tushar Kapoor. Uh, then uh, I also won a, another prestigious global fellowship called the Indian Agritech Innovation Network Fellowship, which is a fellowship from Gates Foundation, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. And this found fellowship was uh, powered by Tata Press. Uh, and this, we received it from uh, the implementing uh, university was IIT Kanpur. Along with that, uh, we were uh, at the Startup India Innovation Week, we were awarded, uh, we were recognized as the top 75 startup of the country in agricultural domain. Uh, we, were, we have also been recognized by UNDP India and we, we were uh, uh, showcased, uh, they, they posted our startup in, under their youth collab program and their official Instagram handle as well, UNDP India. Uh, we, we were also invited at Singapore Chamber of Commerce where uh, we were able to, uh, where, we, uh, where uh, we demonstrated our idea and pitched our idea. Uh, these are some of our key achievements and notable uh, achievements. Along with that, we have some grant support, uh, government-based uh, funding support as well. I, be I believe I would uh, talk about it in the later questions as well. Wow, congratulations Kaushik, you have already received a lot of uh, rewards and recognition from entire uh, country and uh, by sharing this with us, with, uh, with our innovators, you are setting an example for uh, the young entrepreneurs also. Congratulations once again. Uh, Kaushik, what is the cost effectiveness of your product compared to other pest control methods such as chemical pesticides or other bio pesticides? Yes. Uh, so, uh the, where we did a cost effectivity calculation and we needed to und, uh, so what we uh, needed to understand is that we were clubbing fertilizer pesticide fungicide into one so that was that anyway would have given betterment uh, to a farmer in terms of cost as well so for we need to understand that when a farmer goes to the market he or she has to buy different products for different types of uh, infection, different types of pests, as well as he has to buy additional fertilizer to enhance crop growth. In in normal situation, in normal circumstances, a, the starting price of a chemical based product chemi starts have has a price of around 450 to 600 rupees per liter. When we talk about organic based product, the price goes up to double of that pro uh, rate of chemical, which starts from 800, 900 or 1000 rupees. The, Starting price of any organic based product is 1020 rupees per liter. And when you take fertilizer, it will again cost uh, uh, the farmer another 200, 300 rupees. So in total, if a farmer needs to uh, needs to switch to, if the farmer is switching to organic, he has to spend around 1200 to 1300 rupees per, uh, for, for every purchases that he needs to, uh, is to do, even if he is having a small uh, uh, like land. And if he's switching to, and if he's using chemical, he has to spend around 600 to 700 rupees in order to give, give an all-down defense mechanism to, the, to, the, to his crops. Our product will be priced at just 449 per liter, and it will not just work as pesticide, but it will work as a pesticide, organic pesticide, organic fungicide, as well as an organic crop stimulant. So a farmer is buying one product, but it is getting the benefit of multiple, three different products from one single product, 
therefore we believed and our product will fetch the market real soon and that's the benefit if i am the farmer and i go to the market to purchase the uh, purchase uh, products for my field i will not buy different products for different uh, different types of crops different types of in infection rather if i see one product that gives benefit of multiple different products and gives a all round defense mechanism to the crops i would be in interested to invest in this new product and therefore uh, we believe that our product is more effective than existing conventional products present in the market great the cost effectiveness of your product compared to other pest control methods coupled with its long term benefits and one solution for the multiple problem demonstrate its value as an investment for farmers uh, all the best for your uh, market ready product and kaushik uh, are there any specific crops or regions where your product has shown particularly a promising results uh, yes ma'am Uh, so we have uh, got a great result on chili, capsicum, brinjal, moringa leaves, leafy vegetables, uh, paddy. Uh, then, uh, then in-house gar uh, in-house gardens, uh, in flowering plants as well as uh, medicinal plants such as uh, tulsi, moringa leaves, snake plant. All of these uh, uh, crops and uh, plants have shown. great result under the uh, impli under the uh, application of our product in terms of they have gotten good productivity their productivity has been ensured in terms of the length of the crop in terms of the flowering of the crops in terms of blooming of the crop as well as we were able to stop infestation in particularly in brinjal mealybug infestation also uh, uh, in at in mulberry leaves as well as uh, in paddy uh, we were able to stop infestation uh, as well uh, good kaushik you have already tested your product in a uh, lot of uh, plants and kaushik have you received support from uh, other sources in terms of uh, financial or any other uh, support yes ma'am we have received multiple different support from different parts of uh, of our country different government support particularly government support only uh, and we have been supported not just uh, uh, one time but at different stages of our entrepreneurial journey of our startup journey we have been supported we got support from aict itself under the uh, pdc funding after under the national innovation contest Uh, we have received support from ministry of agriculture under their uh, scheme called pusha krishi uh, then we have received support from dst under uh, a scheme called uh, nidhi eir and nidhi prayas and then we have received uh, support from uh, very initially when i started my journey i received support from iit mandi it's a incubator and they supported us with a initial mini kickstart grant along with iit mandi uh, we received support from iim ahmedabad they also gave gave us a student in innovation grant and uh, along with that we have received support from startup gujarat when i was a student in gujarat i received support from gujarat under the student student startup innovation policy and and we have also received support from startup odisha as well good to know you have already uh, supported by many uh, grant grants and uh, seed funding support and we wish you all the best your product will uh, invite support from the angel investors as well in the future kaushik uh, how scalable is your innovation uh, do you anticipate any challenges in scaling up a production or distribution yes sir Uh, so uh, the global biodiversity market is projected to grow from 130 billion dollars to 140 billion dollars the indian biodiversity market is projected to grow from 1.3 billion dollars to 1.7 billion dollars if we talk about consumption biodiversity consumption increased from 5151 tons to 6340 tons and chemical pesticide consumption increased from 55000 tons to 57000 tons in a just 3 years period so both in terms of consumption and value wherever you place a product is expected to show an upward trend going by this analysis we estimated that the serviceable obtainable market would be around 331 million dollars and in order to achieve this number we need to target around 15 to 40% of our population and so we truly believe that our product is not just sustainable but also scalable because india is an agro based country and we are moving towards organic economy not just we our government is also putting lot of effort to to give dividend for farmers who are into organic farming in terms of getting premium 
price for the organic produce and our, and i believe that using our product we can uh, change organic agriculture which is less than 3% now to more than 50% in the next 5 years uh, kaushik it's really impressive that you have a detailed study of your uh, market and we wish you all the best to reach out uh, the maximum population by your product and kaushik what advice would you give to newcomers considering starting their own venture um ma'am my only advice is that uh, don't think about starting just start because what happened with to today's generally when it happened with me that we always think about starting and uh, and doing so we never get uh, the right time to start when you think about it when is the right time to start uh, your entrepreneurial venture it is now because the market is uh, ready to accept new starters and even if you don't have a innovative idea and you feel ki somebody is doing similar things and it might you have enough opportunity to, to excel at the place that you are starting and that's my only suggestion to new coming uh, new comers or uh, young entrepreneurs or people thinking about starting their entrepreneur that take the leap of faith and start now because th- now is the time to start and don't worry about funding networking mentoring there are opportunities there are people to support you in different stages of your journey and not just private uh, uh, organization um, even more than private organization there are government based organization government based agencies government based incubators who will take you in who will take you uh, take your idea in and will groom you to become a value added startup a sustainable startup in the future a startup that makes difference into the society and creates employment not just for yourself but also for the youth of the country great don't look at uh, the problem just start working on it is your advice for the entrepreneur uh, great advice uh, kaushik for all our young entrepreneurs uh, overall kaushik your innovative solution and dedication to sustainable pest control in agriculture are truly commendable your work has the potential to make a significant difference in the lives of our farmers and the health of our environment also thank you thank you kaushik thank you for joining with us Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you for having us here, ma'am. Uh, having me here, and thank you for giving me and me an opportunity for sharing my story to a national uh, platform. Uh, because without the support of uh, NIC uh, Ministry of Education, I won't be able to reach uh, such a big audience uh, at such uh, an easy medium, ma'am. And uh, I will always be uh, grateful for uh, give an opportunity like this. and uh, if in the future we uh, create a considerable impact uh, this will be the moment when it's all started thank you very much ma'am thank you so that's all from us in today's edition of change makers but keep watching for some more such inspiring stories till then keep ideating and keep innovating thank you